Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, it is Sweetest Dolls, and today's video is going to be a unboxing of some of the dolls that I just hauled from Christmas, and it's going to be the Rainbow High Mari doll. Um, I'm going to start unboxing her while I talk to you guys, because I, I've watched a few reviews on this, and I've heard that the uh, um, unboxing experience is very unpleasant, so I want to get into it before I do anything but yeah this is one of the dolls I was honestly looking forward to the most um I had been wanting to try out these girls ever since we saw them like I don't even know if they leave but whenever we saw them for the first time but I just haven't bit the bullet yet because um they are slightly expensive for what they are if I'm being completely honest um, I do understand why they're priced the way they are, but am I willing to pay that price? That's up for debate. <laughs> but I'm very excited to be opening one right now, and if I like her, I do plan on getting maybe not all of them, because I don't particularly like, um, Sierra too, too much, but I do like some of her outfit pieces, so I might just get her because of that, and also I just love mermaid dolls, so... The more I can get, the better. Um, I really hope this is going to work. <laughs> because I really am struggling already. But that's also why I kind of rushed the intro. Because I do just want to get into the stall as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, so today's question is going to be, who is your favorite from this line and why? And if you don't have a favorite, tell me why you are not going to be particularly purchasing this line. Also, I did it. Okay, good. <laughs> I am. I opened it. Um. So I kind of just had to exact a knife around the big bubble to open it. Um. I would love to actually get one of these in box if I do end up liking them a lot. Her hair feels so. Um, I don't, I don't know where to start. There's, like, so many things. Um, I guess I'll start with this right here that has, like, her ID socks and, like, a bunch of other things. I don't know how I'm going to display these girls, only because, um, I like their, I like a lot of their, like, regular outfits, but I also like their mermaid outfits, and they are mermaid high dolls. So I kind of would like to display them in their mermaid outfits. But that's the thing. They're kind of hard to stand. And I don't particularly have the room <laughs> to display a bunch of dolls in their mermaid tails. Especially when I'm going to start buying MGA's mermaid line, Mermaid Mermaids, whenever we're getting that. Which I'm very excited because I'm very into their faces and how they look. Um, I'm also not going to be doing that like shell gimmick that... I've seen people do, I just don't really have, <laughs> I don't, I honestly kind of forgot about it until like right now as I'm opening it, I'm not going to be doing the shell gimmick with this, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside obviously, but I'm not going to be putting it in water and all that jazz, but I digress, um, I've been watching the series, I actually like it so far, it's very reminiscent of like H2O if anybody's watched that, which is why I'm kind of loving it at the moment, um, and I'm excited to see where it goes, especially since we've gotten some, like, art leaks of new characters, and one of them is, like, gamer-themed, um, and we did see some IRL pictures of her, too, actually, so I'm very excited about that. Hmm, weird. I can't tell if I'll show you guys in a second what I'm, like, humming at, <laughs> but I can't tell if that's there on purpose or if that's a defect, because it doesn't really look like a defect, but it also does not look like it's supposed to be there, so, anyways, I'll just keep unboxing her, but, yeah, I like the series a lot, and I'm hoping that we get a lot more characters, but also we get more versions of these girls, because... I do like a lot of their personalities, and I think that they would really benefit 
from multiple lines and not just doing like what omg does and just release new characters every time <laughs> because honestly that's probably one of my least favorite things about omg is like no reoccurring characters especially when i have a favorite like virtual like we're never gonna get another virtual doll but i'm not gonna talk about that this is a mermaid high video um but yeah i'm enjoying it so far i'm excited to see the new dolls in person because i actually saw these in person for the first time I think like a week or two ago when I was shopping and they are big they're bi a lot bigger than I expected them to be which honestly came as like a really big surprise because I I did I genuinely thought these would be more of like a um rats or rainbow high size but I was mistaken I actually don't really know how big they are compared to some other dolls but I do have Disney dolls right next to me that I just like have because I opened them yesterday, so I'll see how big they are compared to them. Also, this unboxing experience wasn't really that bad, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I don't know why people are saying it was, like, really hard. I guess it's mainly just, like, the bubble that's hard. So if you don't have an X-Acto knife, I would recommend getting one because... That's, like, quite possibly the only part that I found, like, really hard was cutting the exacto. But she's free! Um, yeah, actually, I do have one more thing I need to take out besides her. It is her comb! Okay, can my exacto knife work, please? Thank you. Okay. Opened. So... That's just her out of the box. I wanted to keep, at least keep the art on the back of the box because this is some of my favorite doll art I've ever seen. So, yeah. I'm going to start with her accessories. So, I'm going to start, start with this first because I'm not, obviously, doing the whole water gimmick. Um, because I just don't have water with me. And also, I don't really want to waste my time on a gimmick that, like, it's fun, but also... Am I ever going to do it again? Probably not. <laughs> but anyways, so first is her little ID card. Really cute. Um, Mermaid High Student ID obviously has her name and ID Mari. I'm just going to read off like what it says. Her favorite merch style is metal and mesh, which we can see by her tail, which I will be showing in a second. Favorite school subject, math. Cannot relate. <laughs> favorite food, squidding, pasta, pet. My sea urchin Sharky sh Sharkira. Oh. <laughs> some of these puns are <laughs> just really mm, some of these puns are just oh. Um more power, hypnotic vocals. I would like to hear her sing. Favorite color, dark purple, and ocean catchphrase, new shell phone who dis. So yeah, and on the back it has a group photo of the art, which I'm really in into, and if I do, I do kind of want to get doubles of some of them, to be honest, but if I do, I'll probably just get her. Next are her socks, which are so cute. I love socks like these, especially when they come with dolls, and their fabric, like, ooh. Um, next, I'll do her shell thing. So you can put it in water and it will open by itself, or you can press this button on the bottom, I think, or do I just have to don't tell me I have to do the water gimmick. I really don't want to. Okay, no, I don't. Good. But yeah, the inside, it's a little computer. And she's, it looks like she's FaceTiming. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Oceana. She looks like she's FaceTiming Oceana on here. Really cute. I really like this accessory, actually. I think it's really adorable. But... Yeah, that's the water thing. And then it comes with, I'm pretty sure these are her earrings. Or if not something else. Um, let's see. Get out. They are her earrings. And I think, yeah, okay. Her earrings are like little hoop, like tiny, tiny hoops with some chain and a shark tooth on them, which is actually really cool. And I did not notice that. Um, next, I'll do her bag. It has this little octopus strap as the strap. And then it has this dead mermaid. 
or skeleton mermaid on the front, which is pretty cool. And I know some people were wishing that at least it would open. Do we even use doll backpacks if they open? I mean, I don't. And this is cute enough that, like, I would display it with her if I was to put her in her human form, so. Next are her glasses, which are really a cool mold. The middle has, like, a little octopus. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that because it is it's really, really small, but. The middle has an octopus on it. So, yeah, that's about as good as it can get. And the sides have the little tentacles wrapping around, which is really cool. I really like these glasses, and I like that they're unique, like a really unique mold because I guarantee they could have found like a pre-used mold from a different doll line or something and just gone with that. But no, I like that they went the little extra mile. Um, next are her shoes, which is like one of my favorite things about her, are these really cool like strappy platforms. I love platforms. I think these are so cool. They're just the mold is really cool. The actual like heel and platform part has like scales going down it um those are really the only like big details and then there's just, like a bunch of like straps here and yeah obviously comes with two of them i'm really into those um we will see if i put her into her human form i don't think i will because i kind of want to focus on the doll and like the mermaid outfit because i am focusing on her like human outfit right now but next is her skirt which is really 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 cool i really like this um it has some printed on tentacles on the side and some safety pins but on this side it's like a um knit like think if you have like bella parker or daphne from rainbow high like it feels like their skirts and looks like their skirts and it's got black kind of like a bluish aquamarine and a fuchsia pink woven into it really cool and also, I feel like this could fit on a lot of different dolls because of the waist looks, like, thick enough. It actually might fit on Rainbow High, but don't quote me on that. Um, and next is going to be the doll herself. Um, so I will show you what I was, like, uh, about first because I, I didn't know if this was supposed to be there. But there's, like, this really weird loop. It looks like it's supposed to be there to, like, hold in the, um metal chain which is i think it's what it's supposed to do but i will be cutting that off because i obviously don't want that on my doll but yeah i'm like really into her right off the yeah no it is supposed to be there because there's one holding in the chain right here but i don't i don't know where to start because i really like her and there's a lot to talk about with her um for one i think her body feels really good I know some people have complaints that there's no wrist articulation. Um, I personally don't mind. I mean, I'm a Bratz fan. <laughs> like, Bratz are one of my favorite doll lines, so... Articulation is, was never a big deal to me when it comes to these dolls. Plus, I feel like you could get just, like, good amount of poses and ranges with this. Like, the actual articulation on the arm is pretty good. So, like, you can still get those cute poses even if you aren't able to bend the wrist. But I do think that if they want to make them as expensive as they are, because they are about the same price as Rainbow High, and I know they're from a smaller company, but they're going to make them that much, and they're trying to com compete, especially with MGA's coming mermaid line, I think they should add wrist articulation, because I think it would add a lot to them, especially when it comes to posability and playability for kids, and just, like, adult collectors and stuff. But, yeah. So, um, I don't really know where to go from here. I guess I could go to her face. Um, mine has a really good screening. I know I've seen a lot of, like, really bad ones, but she has a really pretty face. Darker purple eyebrows under her bangs. Um, mine has good bangs, too. Again, I'm, I'm not particularly picky about that because I'm going to be washing them. And also, nobody's bangs are quite literally, like, perfectly even. Most people cut them themselves, so. Um, the only complaint I kind of have is her lip color. Um, it's just, like, really bright. I feel like since her favorite color and her whole theme is, like, kind of, like, more metal and, like, I don't know if goth, if goth is the right word, but a lot more, like, dark, like, alternative. 
I feel like the hot pink lip should not have been the move. I feel like it probably should have been like a really dark, dark vampy purple or like a red or something like that. Or even the black. I feel like black would have looked good on her too. But whatever. I still think she looks really pretty. Um, the screening itself is really clean. I can't tell if it's pixelated at all, but I do think it looks really pretty. So um, I'm just going to start from her head down. So first she has really, really long um, purple hair. And just to show you how long it is, I do actually have my Rapunzel with this right here. Um, she, oh. They're, I think, a little shorter than the Disney Store dolls, and her hair is almost as long as Rapunzel's, so that's like, kind of great, and it's really high quality. It feels really soft. There's no gel in it besides her bangs, but I am still going to be washing it because it is messy, and also I want to make sure I get rid of all the like loose strands of hair, but yeah, it looks really good, like really good. Like I'm very impressed. Um, next is her like little octopus crown thing giving major ursula vibes and i'm really into the mold i think it's super cute um when i wash her hair i'm probably gonna be cutting it out because i don't really like having stuff sewn into the heads unless it's like nothing i really just don't like having stuff sewn into the heads in there but i think it looks really good and i'm going to put it back on her after i take it off obviously um Next is her little necklace, which is just like a cute choker with like a, it's almost the same color as her lip um, star. It could be a starfish. I'm assuming it's a starfish because under the water. But <laughs> anyways, um, next is her top, which is half mesh and half like pleather. And this does feel like the pleather that over time, if you don't take care of it, will disintegrate. So just keep that in mind. This could disintegrate pretty easily if you do not pay attention to it. Um, but the design I think is really cute. I really like the little straps. Um, and yeah, I think it, it looks pretty good. Although having that blue in here is kind of an odd choice to me because like the only blue we have is kind of like in the gradient of the tail, which is still not really there, but whatever it looks good so i can't complain i'm just pointing out some of the stuff that like about her design that like i'm not the biggest fan of because i am this is my favorite doll out of all of them and i love her but i do obviously have some stuff i am not 100 percent sold on but that's just me so next is going to be on her wrist she has this bracelet trio with like a a black a pink and a silver um they are all molded together but the black and the pink are the same mold, and then the the silver is a different mold. It's going to be hard for me to show you guys because my camera doesn't really ever want to focus on anything. Um, but it's a pretty good mold. I do like that. I do like having individual bracelets, but I do think that having molded on together like this also works really well because, like, I don't want to have bracelets just flying around her wrists all the time. So, yeah. Um... Moving her arms out of the way. She's going to look a little weird for a tad while I show you her tail um, and some of the stuff on her tail. So she has this really cute chain with an octopus at the base, a lock right here. Um, and that's kind of it. The rest of it's just like a, it's a very like malleable sort of stretchy chain, which I appreciate. Um, it'll move pretty well, especially in posing and also, like, taking pictures and putting her thumb in the water because I know that's kind of the main thing that a lot of kids are going to be doing with her. So, honestly, if I get a double, that's what I'm going to be doing with her and doing some underwater photos or even just, like, in the water photos because I've been waiting for dolls like this for so long and I don't like the Disney Store Ariel because the tail is just gross and these tails are so cool. Um... But yeah, her actual tail has a sort of like iridescent shift, which you can somewhat see over my... Actually, wait, let's see if I can... if it'll show up more. No, that makes it worse. Okay, I'm sorry. I tried to show it, but it didn't work. Um, really cool. It has like this kind of like caged looking effect on the rest of the tail over the uh, scales and stuff like that, 
when you rub it up, it honestly kind of does feel like what I would imagine, like, a tiny mini, like, scale covered thing to feel like, which I think is really interesting, and I'm pretty sure it's just the fabric plus the printing they used, but it does add a lot to, like, the feeling that, like, she's a mermaid, which I don't think they intended, but I like it a lot. Um... Next is going to be the bottom of her tail, which is so cool. And I love that these dolls aren't like the half-assed mermaids where it's like a dress or like a mini skirt, not a mini skirt, like a pencil skirt that just goes all the way. And then you can see their feet at the bottom. Nope, she has a full-fledged tail. I love it. I think it looks so good. Um, I Real quick, before I move on to the bottom, I do kind of wish that they just had elastic on the top. I understand, like, after putting it on, taking it on and off after so many times, it would probably get loose and then the tail wouldn't stay on as well. But that's just kind of me, because it would add for the more realism part, even though it's quite literally... that. If a mermaid tail looked like this, it would never look like this. But I digress again. Um, the tail itself has this crinkly iridescent fabric on the top, and then it has a purple tulle layer, and then it has this black crinoline layer. Um, that's it on both sides. It looks so good. That's one of my favorite parts about these dolls is how their tails look. Like, this is, like, what I like to see in doll, like, doll tail form, because it adds to, like, the realism, but it also gives you that fantasy effect where it's, like, made out of, like, it's supposed to look magical, and obviously it can't be made out of, like, real materials, or, like, what a fish tail would actually be made out of. But this, like, if you were to see this in, like, a movie or something like that, like, this would look so fantastical and so cool. I just think it adds so much to it. Um, and that's kind of why I want to get all of them, even though I'm not even the biggest fan of all of them. Because I really just like their tails. And even if I don't particularly like the doll itself, I have the tail for other dolls. And it looks like they might actually fit the Disney dolls, which is, like, a big plus for me. So... And also, they probably do fit Barbie and made to move bodies, so that adds a lot of possibility too. Um, but yeah, that is just my like over. I this video became very long. I'm sorry, I've been recording for 20 something minutes. Um, I, and I wanted to keep this short, that's why I, I kind of tried to open the box as I was talking to you guys, but I just get carried away sometimes. So that's my little overview, thoughts, review, unboxing of Mari. Final thoughts, I really like her. I'm excited to wash her hair and get her done and start posing her and just playing around with her because I do think she's really cute. And honestly, I might order the rest of them today. And if not the rest of them, another of her and Oceana because those two are my favorites. And I would like another one of her. Um, but yeah, I love her. Um, if you guys liked this video and also her, please like, comment, subscribe down below. It'll help me out a lot. It means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, um, I'll see you guys soon with another video. I have a lot of videos lined up, even if this video doesn't come out by the time I'm recording it and recording it the day after Christmas. Um, I have a lot of videos lined up that will last me a while. So yeah, I'm excited for you guys to watch. Um, I do have more unboxings and I have a bunch of unboxings in my channel. So if you want to see that, check it out. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.